Okay, yes, we are recording. Hello, every morning, and hello, aim high. My name is Sheila Tobert, and I'm the business leader here at Higher Vision Enterprises. And I am so excited to be interviewing one of our amazing directors, one of our stars on our team. And so to share a little bit with you about how she balances her Tupperware business around her family and other obligations that she has going on in her life. So today I am interviewing the amazing Tara Ballantyne. I have such a great time working with Tara and um, she's doing really, really well this year in the midst of everything going on in our world, in our Tupperware world, in our world overall. There are so many things that could easily distract us to the point that we just can't keep going, but Tara is actually in growth for this year, and I'm so proud of her, and she is also on pace for her consistency award from Tupperware, which is absolutely amazing because that means she's getting extra cash for keeping her business going through the end of this year, so I'm very proud of her, and I want to bring her to you to, um, today just for a few minutes so she can share how she keeps it all together. So hello, Tara, and how are you doing today? Hi, I'm great. Thanks. All right, Tara. So uh, I am going to interview you today. So I hope that's okay and uh, ask you a few questions. And the first, I want you to yourself, introduce yourself to everyone. I know you, uh, some may know you, but there are some that may not. So tell us a little bit about you, Tara. Uh, well, I'm a homeschooling mom of three wonderful children. Um, they are amazing in my whole world. Uh, I am also a Sunday school teacher at church. I belong to the Inverness Lions Club, and we do a lot of community service through there. The children and myself um, all do together. And um, other than that, of course, I run my Tupperware business. I've been a director for a couple of years and um, love my team and that's me, I guess. <laughs> yes, that's a lot, girl. You just made me a little bit tired thinking about all that, but <laughs> you go, girl. Yay, Tara. That is awesome. But um, that's great, Tara. And thank you for your service that you do to your community and um, making your kids first in your life, because I know that you do that for sure. So how do you do all of this, Tara? How do you fit everything around your Tupperware business with all the other obligations uh, do you have? How do you do that? What tools do you use? My amazing Dollar Tree calendar. You <laughs> 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 can get the best calendars at Dollar Tree sometimes. Yes, so. yes. So I have one that I keep at home that has everything in it. And then I have one that I take to events um, and parties and things like that, because they don't need to know when I'm taking anybody to the doctor or anything like that. They just need to know when I can have a party. So I have two just Dollar Tree calendars and that runs my life. <laughs> I love that. So pen to paper, I'm a pen to paper girl yes. too. So love that. So, you know, that's simple. And I love that because it doesn't overcomplicate things. So we got one at home, that's just your master. And then you got one on the go because you're right. Nobody needs to know when you go into the doctor or have a meeting and <laughs> All of that. I love that, Tara. Great idea. I might have to add me another little one. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Okay. All right. So um, so in the course of your day, you get up, you see your calendar, you see what you have to do, and you get it done. So now, Tara, you are averaging about $3,000 a month in personal sales. And um, so could you share with us, how do you do your parties? Are you doing in-home parties, virtual parties? How will you actually uh, do your Tupperware parties? I do any kind of party. I'm not turning down any kind of party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, virtual mostly. I do do in-home um, interactive. I just did a hot cocoa bomb party with uh, another another businesswoman. Um, we do something every year around Christmas. We do something together. I do bingos. Um, anything I can. Anything I can do. Events. Um, okay. Events is a huge part of my business. Okay. Wonderful. So you did mention the virtual party because that is something that's more in our lives right now that wasn't maybe a year or so ago. So how do you manage your virtual parties? Are you in their scheduling or do you, how do you get your images and how do you keep all your virtual parties together? I normally schedule, um, I make it a group so that way I can schedule my posts ahead of time if I need to. Um, if I'm able to 
you know, if I'm at home that day, then that's the day I'm going live. I try to go live with at least a breakfast, lunch, dinner, maybe an appetizer or something. I at least try to go live a couple of times in the party, though. And then other than that, I'll schedule my, my posts ahead of time. Um, just Facebook, you know, schedule ahead. I use a lot of top, top social images because they have amazing images. Yes, they do. Wonderful. <laughs> so tell me about this. So in your actual Facebook party, this is interesting to me because I... I like to do that as well. So you are actually a go live uh, in there sometimes so they can kind of have something to look at as well as the post. Right. I love that. Do you do a recipe or do you just demo a product? Um, just depends on, on what kind of time I am and what I'm, I just fit it in around our lives here. So if we're making breakfast here, then usually my youngest daughter, uh, Krista, likes to go live with me. So she'll pop on and do muffins or an omelet or whatever with me. And, um, you know, sometimes if I'm opening a can of something, then I'll just go live real quick and show the can opener. So it just- Love you know. it, multitasking. <laughs> yes. I love that, Tara, a multitasking mom. I love that. If you're already in the kitchen, why not just pop in a party you're doing and show the product in real life? I love that. Awesome, yes. awesome. And you know, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not real good with videos. I, I'm shy and I like to just kind of, hang back in the background mostly. So I do quick, easy things. You know, I, um, if I'm showing the pressure cooker, I'll tell them about the pressure cooker, throw the stuff in, and then I take pictures of the after product. So things like that. That way I'm not on camera for very long. I know, I know. I got you on <laughs> camera. You're probably like, hurry up. <laughs> I love that. But yes, there's something to mention, Tara, because everybody doesn't have this um, the personality where they don't mind being in the camera. Some people want to be behind the camera. And I'm glad that you mentioned that because um, we all can kind of get out of our comfort zone a little bit, but you still do it in a way that you feel comfortable in a sense as well. So you're right. getting out there, but just not uh, where you don't feel like you're being effective at it. So very good. Thank you for mentioning that because I do know that you're a little shy, but <laughs> I am here with you all the way. Okay. Well, we're almost done. I do want to know, how do you keep up with your team, Tara? I mean, I know that you and I um, have a really good relationship and we talk. And um, so, of course, you know, you can text me. We do our one-on-one -on -one every week. But how do you keep up with your, um, with your team? Um, I look at my team as part of my family. They're my Tupper family. And, um, and I try to treat them all like that. Uh, so... You know, just as I'm thinking about them, I'll shoot them a message and just ask how they are or, you know, what have you all just randomly. Um, there's really not a set schedule to that other than I try to make sure that I, I contact everyone and um, and they truly just come into my mind, just like my family does. Oh, I wonder how they're doing, you know, mm -hmm. today with or if, you know, they are baby was sick, how, are, how, how the baby is or what have you. So I check in on them. Um, we're friends, we're family. So that's kind of how we keep in touch mostly. I also have a group that I post all of you, like I highlight your stuff. I highlight anything from, <clears throat> excuse me, anything from Dora that needs highlighted. I'll put my own, um, uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I'll oh, trainings, you do lots of trainings with them. and Yes, trainings, challenges, uh, what have you in there. Um, I have some albums in there that, uh, and I have one of them labeled like, just good to know, especially for a new consultant, you know, and it has like the differences in say the power chef and the, you know, the different sizes of that. Um, just different things like that, that, and I just let them all, all know that I'm always available to them. Absolutely. Well, you do a great job with your group and you do a great job in your albums and product knowledge. And um, you are very good at that, Tara. For all those of you out there, she's a great demonstrator. She helps a lot with that in the team and with her group and the albums um, to keep everything organized and then having that place, that home base for your team which you do that when you group. So very good. So one more thing, what advice could you give a busy mom, homeschooler, you got a full schedule and you're a little shy. <laughs> so how, what advice would you give people to do their Tupperware business? Because as I mentioned before, you are um, having growth this year, which is fantastic um, with your team and you're on pace for this consistency award right here at the end of the year, pandemic, um, different things going on in Tupperware, but you're still maintaining and doing those things, Tara. So could you share a couple of things or uh, some advice you would give to our whole Aim High 
uh, region on some things that have helped you? Um, yeah, well, my first Tupper Mama taught me a long time ago, I have a mind that doesn't stop. So to lay down and just go to sleep is not an easy task for me. I just it, I think, 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 think. So she told me years ago to um, put a notepad by my bed. So I do that. And as I'm thinking of all this stuff, I'll jot down whatever I've got to do tomorrow, whatever's on my mind. Mm -hmm. That way it's out of my mind. Okay, I've got it written down and I can see it first thing in the morning again. So, um, so that's one tip. Another one is to use your calendar. <laughs> um, I, I always, I have to look at my calendar for everything. Otherwise I can't remember it all. So, um, and the, the third the main thing I've learned is you don't have a, it's, it doesn't do you any good to have a business if you don't have a family. So put God in your family first and then work your Tupperware business in around it. When I'm, um, scheduling, I go through the, the kids school stuff and I put all that in my calendar. I put all my events in. And then we go from there on our, our, our other open dates and for parties and uh, meetings or what have you. There, there's not like I can't I'm not one of those people that can say every Monday is this because that's not how my schedule works. I just work around with what we have and my family and, and God always come first. So. Absolutely. I love it. That's great advice, Tara. And I know that that will reach many of our AIM High people. It touches me working with you every day and your amazing team as well. So thank you so much, Tara, for allowing me to interview you today and to share you with the rest of the AIM High region. I do appreciate your time today and congratulations on your success this year and going to close out to get that consistency bonus. I'm so proud of you for that, okay? And you are a car qualified director as well. I want to add that. So you, you have have some major accomplishments this year, Tara. So I'm super proud of you. Okay. Thank you. And I appreciate all you do for us too. Oh, of course. Anytime. I absolutely love what I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I love you too, Tara. Thank you, honey. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.